One of the most important and difficult things to admit as addicts is that we are insane. Albert Einstein once said that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. And that is exactly what we do as addicts. At first, we wanna use without any consequences. And then when the pain becomes intense enough, we become obsessed with trying to control our use or quit, somehow expecting that executing our own plan and doing the same thing over and over again will yield us different results. But we have to realize that our own sick thinking cannot solve our own sick thinking. If we knew how to stop, we would have. We have to realize that our attempts to manage the unmanageable and control the uncontrollable are doing nothing more than walk us into self-imposed crisis after self-imposed crisis and are really doing nothing more than adding strength to our dysfunction. We have to realize that trying harder and becoming more adept at imposing our will on life is not the solution to addiction, nor is it the solution to most of life's problems. If you're not an addict per se, this kind of thinking and believing shows up all over the place for all of us. It's the same belief system that tells us that that increasing our level of commitment to an unhealthy relationship is the solution to an unhealthy relationship. It's exactly what causes us to seek out healing for our childhood trauma and wounds by finding people or situations that replay the exact script that hurt us and then try desperately to get the ending to be different this time. Somewhere deep down, some part of us believes that if we can get the ending of the script to be different, it will somehow be the evidence that we need, that we have fixed the broken or wounded part inside of us that we think caused us to become abandoned, neglected, abused, or even just stuck. Some part of us believes that we'll finally be good, worthy people if we can stop our addiction on our own, or that we'll finally feel like lovable people if we can turn the emotionally unavailable person who refuses to meet our needs into the emotionally available person who wants to and is capable of meeting our needs. Admitting that our plan is not working is a vital first step in early recovery. We have to abandon the idea that doing the same thing over and over again will yield us different results. We have to seek out and connect with something that does have the power to help us stop. Whether that's God or some kind of spiritual higher power, a therapy program, or a community of recovering addicts, or all three. The good news is that abandoning our willpower as a solution to our addiction actually opens the door to a solution that does work. When we get tired of going through the same cycle over and over again and give up on trying to get the result to be different this time, we finally realize that in fact we must surrender to win. Now if you're in a situation where you've been going through the same patterns of trying and trying and trying to quit watching pornography and you've been unsuccessful, DM me the word recover and let's get you unstuck and moving forward.